stars align, it's this beautiful, beautiful moment in the mountains. You just feel it in your soul and you know. I dig in five. That you're in the right place at the right time. Yeah, buddy, you got this. All right, anyone else get the chills while watching that trailer? Because I know I did the first time I saw it. On today's Downhill with Danny, we had to play the whole trailer for you guys because the art of skiing is so beautiful when watching someone truly passionate pour their souls into the mountain especially. So that's why we welcome professional skier Amy David. Amy, I'm so excited to talk to you. You guys make it look so easy. I just love it so much. <laughs> yeah, it's great to be here. Yeah, oh my goodness. Well, thank you for joining us. So this, of course, is uh, your first TGR film, correct? Yes, that's how, correct. How did it feel? How, how does it feel to see the trailer and, and be able to show the world what you can do? It's honestly, it's incredible. Um, it was always a childhood dream to be in a TGR film. Yeah. I remember the first one that I saw at Jackson Hole when the world premiere when I was a lot younger. It really opened my eyes to what's possible in the mountains and the places you can go and the way that you can ski mm -hmm. down the mountains. And now to be in the film is is quite surreal. Yeah. Um, and yeah, one of my favorite parts is, well, for one, being in the mountains. Yes. That's like what makes my soul happy. Yeah. Um, out with the team. And the second favorite part about being part of TGR is seeing all of the magic come together from all of the athletes who are in their own areas throughout the winter, the film crews, and then the editing team and production crew. There's so many people behind the scenes that are putting this amazing piece of art and the entire movie together. Yes. So being able to go to the movie premieres is like a big celebration of winter um, to see it all come together. Definitely, I love that. And I know that it gets me excited to be back on the slopes this season too. You have a unique perspective to uh, snowmaking and skiing. Tell mm -hmm. us about this. Um, yeah, so my the way that I approach skiing yeah. um, currently is mostly in the back country. Okay. So I either go ski touring where you're climbing up the mountain in order to ski down, um, <laughs> which is a lot of work. Yeah. Um, and I love doing that and pursuing ski guide certifications and work with the Avalanche Center a lot. Yeah. Um, but I also have a snowmobile. Um, which I'm really happy to work with Polaris to take my snowmobile out deeper into the back country and I actually attach the skis to the back of the snowmobile. So once you get out to those more remote locations, then you can hop off, get on your skis and um, there's no people around. It's really incredible. Um, uh, just the access that you can get with a snowmobile. Amy, that's <laughs> so cool. Oh my gosh, you're just totally living the dream. <laughs> living my dream, I have to say, you guys. That is so incredible. Okay, so tell me what it's like for you out on the slopes. What what is that feeling that you get when you're out there? You're, we saw some of your incredible shots of you like going down shoots and just what is that feeling like for you? Take um, me, there. take me <laughs> take to that you there. <laughs> well, it's oof, it just for me it makes me feel excited and happy and free. Um, it's putting all of that hard work and dedication to get to that location. And when all of the stars align, going back to the theme of the magic hour for the movie, right. when all of those parts align and your team is 
is solid and the snow is beautiful and the light is popping, which doesn't always happen. Yeah, yeah. But when it does happen, it's just a moment of euphoria. The, the gal who was talking about the runner's high. Yes. It's a feeling like that. Yeah. It's not always that way, but but we're always seeking that that feeling and the reward from the challenge. Absolutely. I mean, look at you. This is incredible. The way that you ski is <laughs> unlike anything I've ever seen. It's just so beautiful the way you do it. Okay, so the premiere, one of the premier premieres is tonight. Are you going to be there? Yes, okay. I'm going to be there tonight. Nice. And it's the first of 20 showings throughout all of Colorado. Yes. Um, so the next three nights are going to be at the Oriental Theater. Yeah. And I will be there tonight at the early and the late show. And there's going to be a few other athletes there signing posters. We'll be giving away prizes. There's a pre-show DJ. Awesome. Um, <laughs> and then the show will go on to Fort Collins, Boulder, Colorado Springs. So there's an opportunity for everyone to come out and enjoy the magic hour. Amazing. And can people come up and say hi to you? I know there's yes, going to be plenty. Yes, please do. <laughs> <laughs> if you are there tonight, please come up and say hi. I would love to to meet people and and just to share the love of skiing. Awesome. Well, Amy, thank you so, so much for being here. I am so honored to be able to meet you. You, again, are living my dream. I just, I can't even tell you how awesome you are. So thank oh, you for being here. Well, I hope I can come back and ski with you yes. this winter in oh. Colorado, do another downhill with Danny. That would be amazing. Amazing. That Let's would be great. And for that, we're going to talk after the show, guys. That's super cool. All right, guys. Again, Magic Hour premieres tonight at 6.30 at the Oriental Theater. But don't worry. The movie is playing throughout Colorado and in Denver again through the rest of the year. So to get tickets, to find cities, to find dates, head to tour.tetongravity.com.